know. Just guessing. You're just guessing. So how long should you bake this? You bake it until it looks like this, right? Kind of crispy, brown. As long as you don't have dangers, you're okay. Very crispy. So how much water you have to add? Well, you see the size, there's still some powdery flour there. You add enough until this lump of dough grabs all the flour on the side. So that, that would be enough. So you add water a little at a time until it grabs all the flour. Then you know you've added enough water. So you see how clean the side of the picking pan is? That's when you know you added enough water. Okay, so this is the big piece of dough that I just made. And I'm cutting just a small chunk of it out. And I will roll this into a very thin sheet, as thin as possible. So you throw some flour onto your cutting board and your rolling pin so the dough won't stick to your cutting board. So just roll it out as thinly as you can. Anybody can do this. See the little dots of sesame seed in there? That's what makes it taste good. Yeah, that should do. So you just cut it up like so. About an inch and a half. If it's bigger, no big deal. If it's smaller, no big deal. Now I would oil my baking sheet over there. I use aluminum foil. I just oil the whole surface there. So when I put the little chunks on there, it won't stick. into small chip size like this then you just lay it out on your baking pan and they're all done